please. Oh, damn it. No. Oh. It's an unboxing. So, this package I ordered from mymonsters.com, go check them out, nice service, and I ordered five tarantulas, mm. looks why like we've got two My Monsters stickers, that's nice, and the spiders. like shaking from excitement so we will start with these three then we'll end up with these two because these two have some value with them so just ignore them for now so first I've got a Mexican red knee so we will be putting them in okay so red knee is hey buddy he is tiny he is super tiny. Look at that. I'm gonna quickly put him into his enclosure. Hopefully there's already some sign of bolting. Hopefully there is no bolting mess. Would you kindly go into your enclosure? Don't fall, there we go. Here we go. Don't climb out. There we go. Look at him, he's so tiny. There you are Mexican red knee. Second one will be Lassia Dora Parahibana, which will be going into the next enclosure depending on the size of the actual spider. Ooh, sorry, will you come out for us? He's way down there. Let me just. Now she's in a hole. Pokey be poke. Why did I have to choose the hardest one? <laughs> this one is so stubborn. It's gonna take out her malt. going in this enclosure. I just need a mist. It's a bit... But I'll put my... Just to keep an eye on her. Let's put you in here. Then you can be happy as can be. Hopefully this one. I've got a catch cup over there. I should probably put this one closer. Let's get this one into an enclosure. Well, I hope it's a she. This one is a stubborn. She is so stubborn. She doesn't want to go out. Can you not go into your enclosure? Here we go. There we go. Go down into your new enclosure. There she is in the corner. Look at that. Look at that little beauty. Hey, how is it? Now, on to the next spider. This one will be a Nandu Chromatus. Oh, you are a big guy. Ooh, big one. I'm gonna take out the mold. There's a lot of mold in there. Ooh, he's a dirty one. There's definitely a lot of mold in there. <laughs> now to transfer this guy into its new enclosure. Let's just have a different tactic. And 
it's already busy. Look at that. Oh, I forgot to mess it. There we go. <laughs> sorry, little fella. Yeah, look at that. It's very dry in here. I'm so sorry. But yeah, before this one decides to bolt away, we will close this one. Oh, I'm shaking because the next one is a bit angry. I'm saving the best, well, for you guys for last. So this one is a bit angry. We'll put that one aside. The enclosure is nice and big because this one is a big spider. Well, not big, but it is the biggest of all of these. So it gets a nice big enclosure. <sighs> this is going to be interesting. So this is a Tlacatl Vagans or Mexican Red Rum. Oh, this one's not happy. Let's quickly show. Sorry. A Mexican Red Rum. This is a nice size one. We'll quickly put her into her enclosure. Hopefully this one does not try to bite me or something. Will you, why are you so weird? Why are you moving so weirdly? You don't look very happy. Will you kindly as so mind to move? Oh no, she kicked her. No, no. She kicked his. Why did you have to do that? Huge. No, you can't, no! I can't get out of the enclosure! These stuff are so freaking stubborn! Please don't kick his at me! I want to sleep comfy, okay? Ooh. Why do these spiders not want to cooperate today? Listen, I want to get you into a nice enclosure, but you have to cooperate. I'm gonna have to put this inside. i try and do this this way. No! Did you see those hairs? Put my mask here. I'm gonna put that on for a second. I don't want to breathe in hairs. Don't kick it, please don't. I really don't want to hurt you. Move. This is the most stubborn of all spiders. Finally. Go in and don't kick his if you dare kick his. No, 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 not into your enclosure. There we go. Oh no. Don't want to breathe in hairs. Not taking that chance. Okay. Don't, please don't come out. Here we go. Toltakto Vagans. Now, this next one's even going to be worse because this next one is probably. The most bulky of all the spiders that I ordered today. It is the second largest one. Presenting the Sun Tiger. I forgot the scientific name for a second. Let me just um uh Pierre me. I'm just gonna say that. But this one gets a special enclosure because it is probably the most expensive one of all. And this is gonna be I'm gonna have a heart attack considering what's happened earlier. Oh Oh, please do not bolt. If you bolt, which side is the spider on? Okay, it's going into its burrow. Oh no, this is. Oh, I don't want this. Oh my goodness. These spiders and going into their burrows. That is something. This is a gorgeous spider, by the way. But this is going to be fun for you guys. Not so much for me. Oh, it's already moving. I don't like that. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Will you look at that? Let's get this gorgeous spider into enclosure, please. Oh, damn it. No. Oh, my goodness. Don't do that to me. Yes. Now I see what they mean with these things being fast. The thing just ran up my arm. Oh. Oh, that was super stressful. If you, if you, you, yes, you, bolt on me. How am I going to do this now? Oh, the thing was sitting on my arm. My goodness, the spider is gorgeous, but seriously, will you... Will you just quit with the bolting, like... 
I know that's what you do, but don't do that to me. Oh my goodness, my heart. Oh my heart. The thing ran up my arm. I don't think if the camera got that, but... It, that was probably one of the most scariest experiences I've ever had. And we are back. About two weeks passed since we rehoused these guys and unboxed them. But in that time, I put them in different enclosures because, well, um, the Sun Tigers enclosure was way too small for it. And then these guys, well, basically the same enclosures except for, but this one's a bit low because it's so small. And, well, that's basically the same one. So you can see I've got labels for them now. Everyone has its own label and Glitch is the Sun Tiger and she is inside here. This is actually a Let me quickly show you. It's a little I'm going to struggle to do this. There we go. It's a little arboreal enclosure that I made myself and there's a little water bowl and she's hiding in there. She's got a little dirt curtain. I managed to snap a photo of her when I was um, after the unboxing, or was it? No, it was after I put it in this enclosure. This one, as you you remember, there was a plastic plant in it. I took that out because it just kept burying the plastic plant and it just didn't seem to work for me. And these guys found out that this guy really likes to kick his. This is the Farai Banner. And yeah, that's a. Yeah, you're correct if you think that's a Lego. That's a Lego. That's a clay flute thingy that broke and plastic plants and a broken leaf and under the pot that's where the small sling is hiding but I can't really show that. Then the Mexican red near the Brachypoma homori is in here. Let's, this one's always outside and it never eats, well it ate once. So I know. It's so tiny, look at that. Hey buddy, here's my finger for comparison. He's so small. He doesn't really burrow. All that he does is he he moves the soil and this is not and it's not the original uh, substrate I I replaced it because it started to mold and yeah this is the Nandu Chromatis it made a burrow over there and over there as well it's also got a little Lego water dish a couple of plastic plants and plastic leaves and stuff like that the only two enclosures that did not seem to get mold was the Sun Tigers enclosure and the Brachy oh, the Little dog, little wagons. This is the little dog, little wagons. As you can see, it made a burrow down there, and there's its bottle cap water dish. This one completely hates me. I. This is actually the sun tiger. Is actually it's got more potent venom, but these guys are actually more aggressive. Um, and it's surprisingly its behavior is very similar to Curly's behavior, and that's very weird because usually they're very docile, especially Curly is. But anyways, now. <sighs> Now, my apologies for leaving the camera in zoomed in because that was when the Sun Tiger actually ran up my arm. And unfortunately, I only got the pot where it ran up my arm and not, not much after that. But yeah, that's sad. Next time I'll try to avoid doing that again. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you find this video informative. What's the right word? word? Informationative. Never mind. If you find this video, no. If you like what you just so please please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon just gently tap it but if you need to you can break it even more because it's broken basically and this is Reptisect signing out